Yo what is up everybody welcome back to another video on the channel in today's video i am going to be reviewing this new foot fantasy 86 rated in kp so he is 6 foot tall left footed with two star two star and medium medium work rate if i talk about his stats they are the same as any other center back but the special thing about him is the pace and dribbling i am going to play him alongside 85 collins and compare both of them so now without any further ado let's get right into the review So starting off with his pace. Pace is very important this FIFA, especially after the new patch. He has 87 pace and with a shadow cam style, he can catch up to most of the attackers. He doesn't have a burst of pace like Junior or Mbappe, but for a center back, his pace is very good. His passing on his left foot is also very good for a center back. He can switch the play and thread some good passes with his strong foot. But his weak foot passing is very bad. He can play X passes with his weak foot, but he can't switch the play or thread accurate through balls with his weak foot. His dribbling for a center back is more than enough. He has high agility and balance combined with the lean body type due to which he doesn't feel clunky at all. His defending is decent. This year the defensive AI on next gen is next level, so I didn't notice any positioning problems with him. His tackles were decent, but he has a lean body type due to which his tackles are not as effective as Klosterman, Collins, or the stronger and bigger center backs. His physicals for a center back are a bit of a downside. He has a lean body type and combined with average strength, he can get bodied by bigger and stronger attackers. So he is similar to Klosterman and Collins, but in my opinion both Klosterman and Collins are better than him mainly because of their body type and high physical strength. Talking about positions you can play him in one position and one position only that is center back. I tried him with a shadow cam style and I would recommend you to do the same. However, if you don't have any problems to compromise on some pace for the physical stats, you can also try anchor. So overall I will give him 8 out of 10 because he was an average center back with high pace. Value for coins I will give him a 8.5 out of 10 because he's very cheap. In that price range, Collins is much better than him. But if you want someone to play as a center back with Collins and you don't have the coins for Klosterman, then he's a good option for you. Well, that is going to be it for today's video. Hope that you guys liked it. I will see you all in the next one. Have a good day and goodbye.